Hey guys, so uh, today we want to finish up our March weather madness work. So um, <clears throat> we're going to analyze the data we've been collecting over the past couple of weeks. All right, so make sure that you follow the task page. Okay, by the end of the day, you want to make sure you in, you uh, submit two assignments. The weather uh, madness daily assignment, the collecting of the data, and and analysis sheet. <clears throat> Okay, so the first thing it says is to gather your March weather madness data. Uh, you should have like seven to ten days. I'm sure most of you are well beyond seven to ten, but have at least seven to ten days. Uh, if you need to gather any data for today, go to Weather Underground, find your city, get the current weather, or go to that history tab if you need any past information. Okay, so just for that, remember, we're, we're, if we click on that Weather Underground, find your city, let's say we're at Livingston, it has our information right in here for the current day. If you need like dew point and humidity, you can go down to this bottom part where it says additional conditions. Okay, and if you need any past information, you're going up to this tab where it says history. Clicking on that. Going back to the date you need. And then clicking view. And again, it's going to, if you scroll down, it's going to kind of give you a summary and some some times and stuff so if you want to find that specific time that you've been kind of gathering your information um, that is fine okay um, so I have some data from the past okay I have a lot of information like I said you don't need that much if you have like like I said seven to ten is perfect all right so we want to start analyzing this information so I'm just gonna highlight a little bit here uh, so first say 12 days okay so So these are the uh, questions we want to answer. There are four of them. Okay, like I said, we want to analyze the information. It's not something we do all the time. It's kind of, this is, this is our first practice with it. So don't get stressed out about it. But I really want you to try to look for, like it says here, analyze the data you have collected see if, to see if there are patterns or connections between the information. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to do. So what I'd like you to do is to choose like two, three columns to compare, maybe highlight them so that the information stands out better. Uh, when you're done comparing, uh, you can unhighlight them. Okay, so some things to look for, you know, compare the high and low temperature. Is there like a pattern? Is there a consistent range that happens? All right, so if I'm going to look at that high and low temperature here, right? Um, one of the things that you can do, which is pretty cool, is you can insert a column in between, and then you can kind of figure out what that range is, right? And then you can kind of see, oh, is there a pattern here? So like between the high and the low temperature, uh, it was 37 one day and then 22 was the low, so that's about 15 degrees, so I'm going to put in 15 there. The next day was also about 15. So, wow, right here I'm already, just by looking at that little bit of data, I'm kind of getting, kind of getting a nice little pattern here that I'm noticing, right? So, if I want to compare, I should have highlighted, I apologize, right? I could go here and, uh, um, go fill. All right, and you can compare my columns. Makes it nice and makes it nice and easy. All right, so I can I can do something like that. Just like I said, go here and you can insert a column, or if I want to delete that column, I can get rid of it. So that might be something that I notice that there's some sort of range between the high and the low temperature. Right? Maybe maybe I'm not looking at the high and low. Maybe I want to look at the the skies. Maybe this time of year there's a specific pattern that's happening in terms of the sunny skies, or maybe it's a rainy time. All right, so um, just I want you to analyze the data. Look at the information. Does it kind of give you any any information, right? So for number one, patterns, connections, right? Okay. The next column, the next uh, question, I want you to compare the air pressure and the observation. So uh, yesterday you did some work with air pressure and what the difference between high pressure and low pressure is. Um, so take a look at those two things. You have your um, air pressure column. Now these these numbers are pretty close. They're not. It's not like a huge range in a number. But is there some kind of pattern that you see here with the air pressure and what's happening in the skies? Right. If the number's above 30, is it sunny? If it's below 29, is it is it uh, rainy or cloudy or whatever? What do you notice? Okay. 
So take a look at that one for number two. Now, number three is a little more complicated. Okay, here's where we want to compare three different areas. We want to compare the current temperature and the dew point. Okay, and then we want to look at the humidity. So let me get rid of um, those highlights. All right, guys, so we're going to take a look at that uh, dew point. So the compare the, the dew point and the current temperature. So I'm going to um, hide this column. I'm going to hide the high and low temperature column um, just to kind of make it easier to, to see. I'm going to keep that humidity in there. We can always unhide. All right, so we want to take a look and compare the current temperature and the dew point. And see, again, we were kind of looking for that range when we were looking for the high and low. What's the range here? Is it are they are the two numbers very far apart, or are they close together? Right. So you're going to want to for for that third question, you want to compare those two. All right. Um, after you look at the temperature and the dew point, then look at the humidity. Right. So we have these two numbers, and current temperature is 39 degrees. The dew point is 18. So that, that's about what are we talking? 20. 21 degrees away, and the humidity is 36%. Okay? Is, does that kind of stand the same? You know, is that kind of the same for the next one? 33 degrees of current, 12, so again, about 21 or so, and it's 33%. So that's kind of making sense. All right, now try to find a number that's on the higher end. So I'm going down here, and okay, I got 100% humidity, and then I have my current temperature. 37 and my dew point at 36 so that might tell me something so take a look here and um you know answer number three you know when the numbers are close between temperature and dew point does it show anything about humidity explain that okay now finally for number four based on the data you collected can you make any inferences about the climate or the long-term weather of this place okay so just generally uh look at your columns and see if you can um, you know find any just general information about what you're noticing within the data okay once you're done with um, the analysis questions I want you to submit it okay I also want you to make sure that once you finish that the uh, daily data collection you submit that as well and we're done with this and we can kind of move on to some other good stuff with weather all right so again, do your best with this, all right, and I will talk to you guys all later.